I wouldn't say there are any required games you need to play to call yourself a gamer, but if there was a hypothetical list, this one would be towards the top. We got Doom for MS-DOS. Doom. It's Doom. It's often considered one of the greatest and most influential games of all time, and it's a game that I never played before, which is weird because it's been on a surprising number of consoles. It's an internet meme at this point that any electronic device can be able to play Doom, so why not play it on next-gen hardware? With this being one of the first first-person shooters ever created, there's definitely some limitations. For example, there isn't a vertical look access to look up and down. You kind of just gotta line your targets up and the bullets will track vertically so you can kill demons and enemies that are in your line of sight. And at first I kind of thought it was outdated, but it really plays well into the running gun style of the game, not having to aim up or down, just aim side to side, which is further exemplified by the sprint speed. And oh my god, Doom Guy runs so fast, it almost gives me motion sickness, which is why I can't play this game for more than 10 or 20 minutes at a time, it really gets my brain going. What further complicates the motion sickness e thing that I get with this game is that I find myself getting stuck a lot. Yeah, a lot of the stages look similar from beginning to the end of the stage, and I find myself not finding a key card or not going down a hallway that looked like another hallway that I went down before. The map helps for sure, but there's multiple levels where it took me 15-20 minutes to complete, and I just felt frustrated that a key card behind the first door I walked by was all I needed to finish the level. And I wouldn't really say anything if it was one or two levels, but it was really like 50 to 75% of the levels I played, and I played like 15 to 20 of them, so not all of them I would get fully stuck, but it was enough of the levels that looking back on it, that's what I remember most about my playing experience. Nitpicking frustrations aside, one of the more surprising things to me while playing the game was the amount of times I legitimately got scared throughout playing a level. Whether it was the lighting or running into one of the enemies around a corner, the lighting was only really scary on one level, but I often find myself turning a corner that I thought I'd been around before, and there stands an army of demons ready to attack. It was quite startling. And the sprites of the demons can be scary at times, which most of the invisible pinkies that you can only really see the shadow of, those kind of scared me at times. And then there's the big demons that leave a big pile of entrails after you kill them. It, it really doesn't make me feel comfortable. The power-ups also don't make me feel that comfortable either. It really changes the colors on the screen and it gives me a headache a lot faster and it makes playing the game a lot harder. Like, there's this one that makes the entire screen white and I don't even want to show footage of it because it might cause a seizure or something. I don't, it hurt my eyes to look at it. But this is Doom, there's a reason it's such a well-regarded game, and through the nitpicks I mentioned, it's such a satisfying game to play, and I think most of it comes down to the weapons and the gunplay, which I will admit it's a copped and obvious moment, but the gunplay is a crucial part of a first-person shooter, like using the shotgun, using the Gatling gun, the rockets, the laser thing, they all kill the demons at about the same pace, but it's just so fun to use the different ones and hear the various sounds they make. And also having an in-game timer definitely lends itself to having speed runs and trying to blow through the levels as fast as possible, which I really only try to do that with the first level because that was the only one that I didn't really get stuck in, but with the speed of the game, it's a pretty fast game to play, so to speed run, it's a blast. And I can't have an honest review of this game without mentioning the soundtrack. It's become famous in the gaming community as having one of the best metal soundtracks of all time. And it perfectly encapsulates the theme and the atmosphere of the game. Just pure carnage, blood, and gore. Overall, I was pretty frustrated playing most of the levels, and there's a lot of aspects of the game that I think have aged poorly, but there's no denying this is one of the best games of the era, and one of the best games of all time, and it changed gaming's future in so many ways. I could be here for hours talking about how this game influenced so many others after it. So I went back and forth with myself a few times on this one. It's just hard to place because now there's just so many different games from different eras and different genres that I've reviewed on this channel, but I had to put it in the top three so it lands at number three. I don't think it's aged as well as Super Mario 3, and I feel bad putting it below Modern Warfare 2, but I just feel like it offers more ways to play for the casual average player than Doom does. You know, playing through this game really makes me want to play the new Doom and Doom Eternal, because they both look like they're a pretty fun time, but for now, the OG would have to do. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, another review coming soon, see you then.